Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Behavior Works, or if you feel more comfortable calling me by my birth name, uh, it's Anna Turi. And I am a registered behavior technician here in the state of Florida. I am super stoked about today's video. Finally, I will be going over some of my very favorite apps that I use as tools in my sessions with my clients. Now, these are tools that I found very helpful. These are tools that my colleagues find very helpful to use during session. When it comes to these tools, however, be sure that these are just tools. You are not basing your entire session around using these apps, but they are there and they're very helpful for you. So before we get into it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, and while you're there, just go ahead and hit the little notification bell so you know um, every time that I post a new video. Without further ado, folks, uh, let's get into it. <laughs> Alrighty folks, so here I am with my iPad and let's go ahead and get started. I will be going over first a few of the free ones that I use often. I will also be going over some that are paid. Most of the paid versions do have like free trials for you to use and see if this app would work for your kiddo. Remember that all of our kiddos are different developmentally, um, so make sure that you try to figure out if this is something that you can actually use for them, something that would be reinforcing or something that's at their level um, as far as learning. And uh, yeah, so let me show you the first app that I use a lot. Now this first app is a PBS Games app. I use this the most for reinforcement with my five-year-old boy kiddo. He loves this. So basically, it's a free app that you're able to go into and it has a bunch of games that they can choose from. So let's see here. Um, there's Clifford. He actually loves this one. This, these animal guys, Wild, Wild Kratz, I guess they're called. Okay, so once you click on, let's say, Amazon Adventure, um, you are then taken to the game and it will give you directions on how to use it. You know, it's kid friendly. You don't have to worry about them getting into anything they're not supposed to be getting into. Um, but that is just one that I use personally for reinforcement. You can download it, take a look, and see if that would work for your kiddo too. The next um, app that I have is also by PBS and it's actually P PBS videos now this is one that I haven't used much my analyst just told me about it recently but it's super super cool app to use and I've taken a look at many of the videos and I've seen that there are definitely some um, especially this these, this little teddy bear guy that you can use for reinforcement and the videos are pretty short you can take you can see here there's like a minute a minute and 30 two minutes and 20 two minutes and 45 seconds so depending on how long you give your kiddo there are many different videos here that you can try to find something within that time frame for their break time right okay so then the next app that i have for you is a token board it's an electronic token board can you believe that it's not one that i use i'm i like the you know the old-fashioned token board the one that you can hold in your hand and because I kind of find that using this this one this app if I have my iPad out he can just click on the tokens himself and give himself the tokens and it's just kind of like us going back and forth turning the tokens over so it doesn't work for me but doesn't mean it can't work for some of you guys so let's go ahead and take a look at the token board one okay so in the token board you're able to select actually a token image so let's say i want to be this little pink guy right save choice and I'm, i can also choose what um the reward is so whatever the kiddo is working for so let's pretend that my kiddo is working for ice cream okay we'll do that you can save the choice you go and you can also choose which is pretty cool the number of tokens that he is working for so let's do 10 tokens um alrighty, and here you go so you have the 10 tokens and all you have to do is tap and then the tokens will start turning. But this is when I say that it's kind of like a battle of turning tokens between me and him because he can just tap it and it turns versus me having the actual physical tokens in my hand where he can have access to them. So for me, it doesn't work. Doesn't mean it can't work for you guys. It is still a pretty cool app and it's free, so. Okay, this next app I have, um, I do not use it personally. I have a colleague that uses this and says it's a good app for her, works for her, it's for nonverbal kiddos. This one is called Let Me Talk. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? There we 
go. So Let Me Talk, it has um, several different categories. So you have general, food, drinks, clothes, um, feelings, tools, toys, colors, numbers, I skipped disease there, and alphabet and shapes. So let's just click general, just so you can see. So it says, I do not know, and um, yes, and no, and it does speak. I have the volume turned down now, but it does um, actually say those words. If you do want to delete this, guys, by the way, you just have to press and hold the pictures, um, and it does delete. But this is another uh, free app you can definitely utilize for your kids if it works for you. Okay, the next app that I have here is one that many of you have probably heard, ABC Mouse. Now, this is a paid app. Unfortunately, this is live. We have to pay for things. It sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so this app, you can pay either monthly for $10 a month, or you can pay yearly, which is going to be $80 for the year. Not a horrible price. I mean, it's for the whole year. If you're going to use it every day, then it's probably uh, worth your money. So ABC Mouse, for those of you that are not familiar, is an excellent little tool to use uh, for your kiddos. Um, it has many different things. I don't even know where to start. Let's jump into the classroom here and you can take a look and see at the top that it has areas of reading, math, art, songs, library, puzzles, and games. And these are all different areas that you can work on with your kiddo. They have different levels too. So let's, for example, let's click on puzzles. You can take a look at the puzzles here. So let's just click on this first one on apples. And you will see that your kiddo will drag the pieces. And if you get it wrong, this is the only thing I don't totally love about this app with the puzzles. Um, I, if, it, if they don't put it where it should be, it just automatically goes to the um, to the place where it's supposed to be. But then your kiddo could just be like throwing the puzzles wherever, and it's just going to go where it's supposed to go. So they could work on that little aspect, but let me show you a couple other areas that it has here. So if you click on the whiteboard, it also has like a little set, um, like a set course for your kiddo to follow um, as far as where they are, like whichever level they're on. It sings little songs for them. And it's pretty entertaining. So this is a good little app for you to use for a few minutes of work with your kiddo. Okay, so then the next app I have is called Bookful. So Bookful is kind of just like an animated way of reading, but they take it a step further in that it's like 3D and it has little pop-up features and it's a very cool app. So let me just go ahead and show you what it does, okay? So here it is, guys, and I do not know right now off the top of my head how much it is. I will take a look at it and I will let you know um, how much it is for the year or monthly, but let me just show you an example here. So let's go ahead and do pop-up peekaboo Okay, so it does give you the option of either reading it to me or read it myself um, I like to do read it to me. My client also likes to read it to me So you can see here that as I move my iPad, um, you can see the room kind of differently Or it says here pop-up surprise under every flap. It's an interactive book So let's see so that little blue um, blinking circle, that's going to be like the flap that they want me to tap on. So let me tap on it and you will see here that something pops up. It's cool, it's reinforcing, it's educational, so I do like to use it um, with my client for uh, reinforcement as well. Okay, so the next app I have is called Vooks. That's books but with a V. So I think they kind of took it like as a virtual book, so like books, so I'm assuming. Um, it is $5 a month or $50 for the year. I use this app a lot. I use it mostly for like lunchtime to try to get him to be, I wanna get him seated and finish his lunch. And if there's nothing right now, you know, baby steps. But right now, if there's nothing really um, for in front of him for him to like watch, um, he, will, he will elope. So for right now, that is what we're doing. And he is watching an educational story, you know, it's a little uh, storybook. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. It's super cute and they do update their books pretty often. I do see books come and go, but you just click on one of them. Let's do this one, food. And it will just basically play a book for you in video form. It reads to you and it's entertaining and it keeps them engaged. And it's it's a really cool app to use so okay so this next app um, I have actually shown you guys on my Instagram uh, story if you do not follow me on Instagram by the way go ahead and do so um, at behavior underscore works 
I do have a giveaway coming up soon, guys, so be sure to be following me on there and um, keeping up with everything that I post. But anyways, this next app is called Otisimo. I believe is how you're supposed to say it. It's pretty pricey. It's $150 um, a year for it, but wow, it is such a good app, and I use this for work with him, but he doesn't mind because it's so fun that he doesn't even really realize that it is work. I'm very lucky, and I didn't have to purchase this app. My client's mom had purchased it, and I get to use it with him, so that's how that worked out for me. Talk to your client's mom, maybe they already have it, or you can utilize things that they have for sure too. Of course, they're gonna want you to use them for, for their kids. So let me show you a little bit about Otisimo. Actually, now that I'm reading it, I think it, it's actually called Otisimo. I'm sorry, but I think Otisimo sounds better. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see here, these are the categories. So they have daily life. This is actually targeted for children with developmental disabilities. So they did keep that in mind, not in mind. They kept that as their target audience while developing this app. So it is just fantastic, I think, for us to use um, as RBTs. So they have different categories here. Um, daily life, vocabulary, numbers, reading and writing, senses and emotions, coloring book, sounds around us, puzzles, geometric shapes, household goods, video modeling, which is so cool, communication, jigsaw, music, social stories, attention, and focus. So let me go ahead and show you some of the video models. So let's do learning emotions. So, okay, smiling. So it gives you different little emotions, right? It'll tell you the name of them too. And then you are, your kiddo is going to pick the correct one. Or maybe the incorrect one, that's fine too. So then it asks you which one is smiling. Um, and so let's say we get it correct. We're gonna click the middle one. And it also reinforces you with that little clapping sound, which is super cute. And then let's do the next one. And I'm gonna get it wrong this time so you can see what happens. So next, the next one is called angry. Okay, let me click on the wrong one. So it just does not provide any reinforcement. Kind of like DTT, guys, does it sound familiar? It's also bouncing up and down, giving me a little bit of a gestural hint there. Uh, let's see. Still gonna get it wrong. Still jumping up and down. There we go. Alright, that's this app. Let me show you another little subsection here. Let's see what else can we get into. Another part that I really do like about this, let me show you. I think it's in daily life. Yes. So there's also a lot of matching. So let's see, we can do matching to um, professionals. So what does a nurse use? Okay, this can get, this is a little tricky, but my client does just fine using this. What does a baker use? Hmm, let's say we get it wrong. See, there we go. So I could literally sit here all day and show you what this app does. It does so many things. If you do want to try it, there is a uh, free trial for it for a week. If you do want to give it a try and see if it's worth the money, you can also pay monthly too. Not sure how much that is. I will let you know right here. Alrighty, folks, that is all I have for today's video. Those are all of the apps that I am currently using. I will definitely keep an eye out for more apps that I want to share with you and we can do a part two later on down the road. Let me know if you're using any of these apps. I'm so happy that you're here and you're learning and you're trying to do your very best. I'm here for you every step of the way. If you are new here and you do not know, I do offer ABA advising sessions where I am able to walk you step by step through this very confusing ABA process to get you started on your journey. If you would like to book with me, please go ahead and use the link down in the description box and I can't wait to talk to you. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you later. Bye!
to myself What a wonderful world 